everybody welcome back to my channel now that i have a little bit more time to talk we are doing a barn routine vlog today um we're running a little bit late though so we're gonna get on the way we're gonna stop at tim hortons real quick to grab some coffee and then i'll show you what we're doing today and Everybody, welcome to the voiceover for today's vlog. We start off this barn vlog pretty early, around eight o'clock, because I gotta be at the barn for nine as my lesson is at 9.30. So I get in the car, it's about a half hour to 45 minute drive to get to the barn. Um, we pack the car and we set on our way to get to the barn. The first thing I do when I get to the barn is get out all my stuff and head right to the board to see who I'm riding that day. Today I was riding Louie, so I walked down to the paddocks below to try to catch him. Okay hey guys, you're gonna have to bear with me. I am walking currently to go catch the horse. I'm riding the horse I put board today, so I'm riding Louie. We're gonna be riding inside today, so let's just go grab him and I'll show you his field. so shocked by how warm and wet this winter has been for Canada, specifically Ontario. It has not been hit very hard. We've had like one storm where it was really cold for quite a long time, but now it is just warm and wet and muddy and mucky. Hopefully it gets we get a little bit more snow. I know we like riding out in the snow and um, sledding and having the Canadian winters, but it is nice that it's a little bit warmer this year. Okay, everybody, this is Louie. We can't really see him, but I'll spin around and show you him. This is my pop board. He's looking for treats right now. Um, but yeah, I pop board Mr. Lou. He came in with a lot of issues. He used to rush at jumps and was quite the little character under saddle. But now he's gotten so much older and wiser. And he had a little brain. Um, he's 10 now, so we've had some good laughs. Okay, I spun the camera around to show you Louie. How cute is he? Come on, Lou. Oh, he says, I don't want to come. Come on. Come on. This is what happens when I catch this horse. This is my farmer routine. Fighting with him to come to the gate. Come on. Lou, what are you doing? Come on. Door. First line of business after catching the big dog is to get some carrots and feed them to him because he came in very good today. Sometimes he runs away from me, so this was a win. Next, we admire how cute he is for a good five minutes, and then on to brushing. I brush him down pretty good before I put the tack on, and then go grab the tack. This is the tack room. I quickly grab some miscellaneous things um, that we're still testing out on Lou, just different bits and bridles and things. And then I tack up and get going. Oh! <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself, buddy? Oh my goodness, I don't even know where to start here. All right, the first thing I do when I get off is I put him right into a stall. Sometimes he likes to pee in the alleyway, so I try to minimize that by putting him in one of the empty stalls. I then brush off his massive mess as he rolls in the shavings and let him dry off before putting his blanket on. This guy gets so sweaty after our workouts because he is so fuzzy and wooly. Um, so I'm thinking I'm gonna have to clip him when it gets a little bit colder outside because we're not gonna be able to wait as long. But for right now, he is just good with waiting because it's been so warm here in Canada. <laughs>
I then venture outside to go take the woolly mammoth out. Um, he lives outside full time, so he is out in this large paddock with all of his friends. I then give him some kisses and send him off to his friends and food. Um, and that's pretty much it for Lou for today. Midday check in. I got one horse down, one to go. We're gonna go pick up that one in a second. He was so good. I wish I got the riding on video, but I didn't. So you have to do with this cute bait instead. Okay, let's go. Bye, Lou. I put his stuff away, and then there's no time for fooling around. I gotta get on the second horse right away. I then go greet the pony in the paddock. She was pretty bad today. She tried to kick me, um, but we figured everything out and we ended on good terms, which is great. I came in the barn and I had to speed tack up, so there wasn't much time for me to film, but I got on the pony and we pretty much went on our way. They're so cute. This pony was super, super good today. She had a cut on her face, so I couldn't really wear a nose band or a martingale, and she proved that she didn't need one. I then immediately took the tack off her and fed her some carrots. She was so good today, it was unreal. I then took care of the little cut on her face, put her blanket on, and sent her outside. After I put the ponies to bed, I got to work on the chores I needed to get done before I had to head home. I just did some simple chores like mucking up the run-ins for the outdoor horses, um, haying, turning in, feeding, everything like that. All the ponies. They're snug as a bug in their stalls. Right? Right? Hey everybody, thank you guys so much for watching. It has been such a wild run trying to edit and film this video. I filmed this video about two weeks ago, um, trying to get it out to you guys before I left for Mexico, which I am currently in right now, but I unfortunately couldn't get it out in time. Uh, I was really busy before leaving, so the internet here is hit or miss, so I'm sorry <laughs> that I couldn't get it to you any sooner, but thank you guys so much for watching. There is a new video coming out very soon, so stay tuned. Later this week, there'll be another upload, I promise. Thank you guys so much for watching again. See you later.